סתם תשימו ככה! Come for my bride, the dwarf said bluntly. It's taken long enough to get here, I gotta say. Now it's high time that Thrud graced her new home. Everyone says, oh, I can't wait for my wedding night. But I don't mean to hang around here any longer than I got to. Who the fuck are you, asked Thor. Should I say, what are you? The fuck's your nose so pale for? You sleep in a grave mound to keep corpses company? Thor considered Elvis. You look like some kind of monster. You certainly won't be the one to marry Thrud. What you doing dressed up in rhinestones and that white shit? And Elvis was like, Hey, I'm Dwarf Elvis. Don't give me no shit. I based my look after Captain Marvel Jr. And the dwarf threw himself up to his full height, such as it was, and said, I'm Elvis! There's nothing I do not know. I live way down under a hill. My home's a cavern hewn out of rock. Then the dwarf testily brushed aside this talk with a sweep of his hand. I've come to claim Thrud. The agreed price for my work and for many weapons. Let the gods not break their oath. Well, I'll break it, said Thor indignantly. I know nothing of this promise. He walked down the hall and then called out, A father's got the last word as to who his daughter marries. It's up to him and him alone. So who are they then, you motherfucker? demanded Elvis. What kind of right do you think you got over my radiant pride? You're nothing but some vagabond, seldom noticed and little known. You, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. And the corners of Elvis' mouth twitched. Which woman had to be brought with rings before she would bear you? Thor looked at him. His eyes was flashing, so the Elvis began to quail. He said, I am Thor the Hurler. I'm the wide wanderer. I am Odin's son. You'll never win and marry my daughter if I can help it. Ha ha ha, said Elvis, and he smiled, a pallid smile. Well, I'll soon win your goodwill and your consent. I long for your snow-white daughter, and I'll struggle for her. Wise guest, said Thor. I won't be able to stand in the way of your love. You can answer me a bunch of trivia questions that I ask you about all the worlds. Tell me, Elvis, you're the dwarf with the hip-shaking fury who goes up and gets censored from the waist down on talk shows? Who knows everything about our fates and fortunes? What is the name for the land that stretches all around us in each and every world? And Elvis said, men call it Oith. The Asir say field, and the Vanir say the ways. The giants call it evergreen, and the elves grower. The most holy gods call it clay. And Thor said, tell me, Elvis, you're the dwarf who stays up all night barbecuing fried chicken when everyone else in their neighborhood's trying to get they some shut eyes so they can get up and go to work in the morning? Who knows everything up about our fate and our fortunes? What is the name for the sky, child of the ocean, that we can all see in each and every world? 
Men call it heaven, the dwarf replied. The gods say the height, and the veneer say wind weaver. The giants name it high home, and the elves fair roof, and the dwarfs dripping hall. And Thor said, tell me, Elvis, you're the dwarf who says he knows everything about our fate and fortunes, who dances naked in the fucking jungles. Tell me this. What is the name of the moon that we can all see in each and every world? And Elvis said, men call it the moon, honey mama. But the gods call it Mark Sun. It's known in hell as the Whirling Wheel. The giants name it Rapid Traveler. The dwarves Gleamer. And the elves Time Teller. And Thor nodded. And he said, tell me, Elvis. You're the dwarf who slings dick from here to Svartalheim, who just spews his seed into every whore in every tavern, and gives them all the genital crustaceans. Who knows everything about the fates and fortunes? What is the name of the sun that we can all see in each and every world? Men call it the sun. The dwarf replied, The gods say orb, and the dwarves Devalin's delight. The giants name it ever bright, the elves fair wheel, and the sons of God all glowing. And Thor said, Tell me, Elvis, you're the dwarf who said that Chuck Berry was nothing but a hound dog and then took so many drugs he died on the crapper and Chuck Berry's still dock walking around the stage today? Who knows everything about our fates and fortunes? What is the name for the clouds that hold the rain in each and every world? Men call them clouds, the dwarf replied. The gods say chance of showers, and the veneer say wind kites. The giants name them hope of rain. The elves weather might, and in hell they're known as helmets of secrets, which is kind of fucky. Thor shifted in his seat a little bit, and he looked out the window. And then he said, tell me, Elvis, you're the dwarf who got kind of crazy in his sophomore year and started cock-sucking under a full moon's light? Who knows everything about our fates and fortunes? What is the name for the wind that ranges far and wide in each and every world? Men call it wind, the dwarf replied. This one was easy. The gods say waverer, and the most holy gods call it nayer. The giants call it whaler. The elves roaring traveler, and in hell it's known as the blustering blast, like a Pokemon attack. Thor didn't know what the fuck a Pokemon was, but he kept his eye on the window and said, Tell me, Elvis. You're the dwarf who woke up in a rest home and teamed up with a black JFK and fought some bugs and a mummy that came back from the dead wearing cowboy boots. And then you looked up at the stars and had an epiphany. The, who knows everything about our fates and our fortunes? What is the name for the stillness, the settling peace in each and every world? And Elvis said, men call it the calm. The dwarves say the quiet, and the veneer say winds hush. The giants name it the sultry, the elves days lull, and the dwarves days refuge. And Thor speared a potato with his fork and put it in his mouth, and he chewed for a little while, regarding the little dwarf, dressed in his sequin suit. And then he said, tell me, Elvis, 
You're the dwarf who owns a mint edition copy of Detective Comics number 37, who knows everything about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for the sea on which men sail in each and every world? Men call it the sea, the dwarf replied. The gods call it smooth lying, and the veneers say waves. The giants call it eel home, and the elves drink stuff, and the dwarves call it the deep. So nodded, and he checked the watch that he had on his wrist. Very fancy. Rolex! And he said, tell me, Elvis, you're the dwarf who goes out drunk as hell and slaps the asses of passerby clowns on Mardi Gras. Who knows all about our fates and our fortunes? What is the name for fire that burns for men in each and every world? Men call it fire, the dwarf replied. The gods say flame, and the veneer say wave. The giants call it hungry biter, and the dwarves burner, and hell it's known as the haste day. Tell me, Elvis, Thor said, and his voice was a little quicker. You're the dwarf who knows everything. You're the dwarf who knows who Monica Lewinsky ran to that fateful rainy night. You're the dwarf who consoled Marilyn Monroe as she laid gasping on her bed in her final hours. You're the dwarf who went to Michael Jackson's house and left with a couple hundred thousand dollars and never spoke of it again. Who knows everything about our fate and our fortunes? What's the name for the wood that grows for men in each and every world? And Elvis the dwarf, he said, men call it wood. The gods say, mane of the field, and the elves fair-limbed. The veneer call it wand, because they make Harry Potter wands and shit. Thor didn't like how quickly he answered that. Thor slowed his roll a little bit. He said, tell me, Elvis... You're the dwarf who everybody knows. You're the dwarf who loves peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Who crafted a peanut butter and banana sandwich making butter knife out of pure gold and dwarven magic. Which always achieves the perfect crisp crunch and meltiness. Who knows everything about our fates and our fortunes. What is the name for the knight, daughter of Narvi, in each and every world? Men call it the night time, the dwarf replied. The gods say darkness, and the most holy gods say the hood. The giants named it lightless, the elves sleep soothing, and the dwarves the weaver of dreams. Thor was gaining a little bit of respect for this dwarf, but he wasn't done yet. He said, tell me, Elvis, you're the dwarf who knows everything about underground Detroit hip-hop in the 1980s and early 1990s. Who knows everything about our fates and fortunes? What is the name for the seed grown by men in each and every world? Men call it barley, the dwarf replied. The gods say grain, and the veneers say growth. The giants name it edible. The, the fucking, you know, them elves, they call it the drink grist. And in hell, it's known as the slender stem. Tell me, Elvis, said Thor. And his eyes were heavily hooded. You're the dwarf who knows everything. You know how the sixth season and the movie of Community will go. And everything else about our fates and fortunes. What is the name for ale that men quaff in each and every world? Men call it ale, the dwarf replied. The gods say beer, and the veneers say foaming. The giants name it Cloudless Swill, and in hell it's known as Mead. 
Sotong Songs call it Feast Draft. Tho didn't know who the fuck Sotong was, but he played along. He said, I've never known one person to be the mind of so much ancient wisdom. He smiled at his guest, a long, slow smile, and he slowly nodded his head. But your own tongue has trapped you, Elvis! The sun's rays arrest you, and the dwarf whirled around, but it was already too late. The sun's rays arrest you, gloated Thor, and they turn you into stone. And now the sun shines in my hall once again. You see, the thing about dwarves, if the sun's rays catches them, they turn into statues. Big, ugly, stone motherfuckers. Can't move, can't claim no wives from the gods, can't get jiggy with it on stage, can't swivel their hips and steal culture from the black community and repackage it for white middle America. Nope. Can't do none of that shit. And that's how Elvis the Dwarf met his end in his sequin boots and shit. This has been another Norse Tales. I hope you enjoyed your journey into the probably already slightly known. We already knew all the earthling words for all them things. But I thought you might enjoy hearing what the gods and the dwarves and the elves and the giants and, you know, them dead folks down in hell, what they called things. Right. Go have yourself a date.